Done, literally done. It's that simple to make a fist trap. Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Holy crap! Crystal clear stream here in the Everglades. Never seen anything like that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have found one of the coolest spots I think I have ever found in my whole life. We already made a little bit of a video here earlier. In that video, we walked up and we found thousands and thousands of walking catfish, hoplo catfish, and other species. I mean, look at them blowing up right here. I don't know what is going on, but there's just millions of fish in here, and I thought this would be the perfect time to make ourselves a DIY fish trap. So I have this laundry basket with me, and I saw this at Walmart, I was like, yo, this is perfect to make a fish trap out of. So I went ahead and closed it with three hooks so that it can't open. And I think we're gonna try and make a little hole right here, right? Yep. So let's just dig in there. There we go. Got the hole started. I love doing this, just making like a little DIY fish trap out of something random. Oh yeah, this, this is perfect. Done. There we go. Done. Literally done. It's that simple to make a fish trap. So we got a hole right here. The trick is the fish are going to smell the cat food that we're going to put in here. They're going to swim on in and we're going to tie this to a fishing rod so we can like just beam it out there. And dude, with the amount of fish, literally millions of fish, I think we, we have the shot of catching like hundreds in a single trap. So let's go ahead and fill this up with some cat food and throw it on out there and see what we can get guys. This is about to be insane. All right, look at this. We got some cat food here left over from a Paku session. Go ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good? It's enough slice. I want to catch a lot of fish, dude. Oh my Shake it God. around in there. Oh yeah. Shake it around. Get the scent all up in there. I'm gonna use your rod because I have a feeling if I use my rod for this, I'm probably gonna break my yeah, rod. Yeah, so that's why I bring my Paku rod oh, everywhere. Right. Alright, where should we tie the fishing rod? Right there. Right here. Okay, we're gonna tie the line to this little loop right here. Hopefully this is gonna stay on. Otherwise, goodbye to our fish trap. All right, that's good. Dude, just like that, we made an awesome fish trap. There's literally no doubt in my mind that this fish trap won't work with the amount of fish out there. I could throw out just anything and fish will swim into it, I bet. I'm so excited to see what we get. This is about to be the craziest fish trap we've done on the channel. I'll hold the rod. Zoom in, zoom in onto all these things. These are all like hoplo catfish, walking catfish. They're all over here. You want to hold the rod and I'm just going to throw this thing out? Yep, I got it. All right. We got our cat Let's food go. inside. Brand's holding the rod. Bail open. Where should I throw it? Just as far and as the, I can? Yep. Yay! Oh. <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> Look at there he goes. I didn't think about that. Just walked up to this new spot. Someone's fishing. Yo, what's up, dude? Catch anything? Uh, nothing yet. What are you using? Uh, a hamper. What's that? A hamper. Dirty hamper. Dude, we probably have to, like, wait five minutes and we'll have hundreds of fish in this. I want to try now. Look at them, dude. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past it. If, if we pulled it up right now, we'd probably have fish in it. But I want to give it some time. I gotta we give it, we, no, no, we gotta give it some time, dude. We gotta give it some time, okay? Hit the like button down below, guys, if you think we're gonna catch a ton of fish in this fish trap. Judging by how many fish we caught in our cast net in the last video, I think I think it's possible we get a, a hundred, at least. We also have been seeing an albino walking catfish over there. I still see him, you see that? Right there. Yeah, there's an albino walking catfish over there, but he's like too far for us to cast net. Look at the water flowing through there. Where do you think that leads to? Check this out. This is a little stream right across from where we're filming the video. And I walked over here because this just looks so sick. And I don't even know where to start. Follow me. Look at this crystal clear stream here in the Everglades. But look at this. Ready? Are you ready for this? Just watch. Just watch. Ready? <laughs> look at this. What are those? Look how colorful those fish are. Whoa. I've never seen fish like those are mollies. Those are mollies, dude. Look. Look how many there are. Look how many there are, dude. There's millions of them. Look at the colors on those mollies. Never seen anything like that. We need to come back here and, and, and load up on some of these. Everywhere you put your hands, you just get handfuls and handfuls of fish. Wow. Anyways, guys, we're gonna give it 10 minutes and uh, we'll be back here and hopefully our DIY 
laundry basket fish trap worked and we caught some really cool fish. So uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you then. Okay, guys, Brandon insisted that I just like reel it up right now and see. It's been about like five minutes and he just re he's really antsy about this, okay? He really wants to see if it worked that fast. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. Hopefully they don't like swim out as I'm reeling it up. You know what I mean? Doubt it. They're munching right now. What you got on there, bro? Should I jump in for it? No. I see color. Oh, I see color. I it's see a cobia. Oh, look at all the minnows. Yo. Look at all the freaking minnows. Zoom in on that. Look. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You see those minnows? Yeah. Dude, the whole thing is minnows. Okay. Where, uh, I'm the <gasps> Is that one in there? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait, how are we gonna do this? I, I didn't think about this part. Brandon, we're screwed. You're gonna have to walk down there, buddy. Wait, you walk down. Walk down there, walk down there, I'm gonna drag it over. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Look at all those stupid, bro. Oh my god. Someone's swimming out. I can see fish swimming out. Grab it. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Thing's so heavy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Dude, I think there's something. Ah! Oh, get the phone. I got it. Here we go, Brandon. Here, just bring it up with you. Bring it up with you. I can't grab it. Grab it. I can't. Wait, let me set the rod down. Here. Dog food. My face. Ah! Uh, okay. Holy crap! Dude! Oh, Brandon, get up here. I am up here. <laughs> He's up here. Yo, okay, grab the rod. Let's go dump these guys in the cooler. We just caught so many fish, Brandon. I'm soaked. This is the most insane fish trap we've ever done. We're soaking wet, man. It is pouring. Yo, Brandon, I snuck a little peek. Did you sneak a peek? Kind of with the phone. I, dude, I snuck a peek. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is insane. Okay. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my God. Bro, there's some in the bag. Look, what? there's some in the bag. Oh, easy. <laughs> Wait, let me dump these guys. Okay, let's just dump everything in the cooler. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Holy crap. Oh my God. There's a couple more. Look, and there's some inside of the bag, inside of the hoop. Dude, what the heck? Yo, get out. There's still some in. Look at this dude. Come on. Come on. Okay, guys, our phone is like soaking wet, so it's like not even working. We finally got it working, but check this out. This is our big haul. Dude, I, I don't even know like where to start. Like usually when we do a fish trap, if we catch like just one of these fish, then boom, it's insane. But we've literally caught tens and tens like there might be a hundred what is that red thing on there's it? like a hundred fish in here there, i think there's a hundred fish in here for sure look at the walking catfish walking around these guys are so cool check this out ready oh slippery they're so slippery watch i'm gonna put him on the ground and he's gonna walk ready watch run look, look at him 32 miles. that's why they call it a walking catfish look how cool that is <laughs> they say snakeheads walk on land i think walking catfish walk a little better these guys are so cool. What do we even do? Like, do we keep some for the ponds? Ooh. Walking catfish are cool. Look at this. And like, and, and the rest are all Hoplo catfish, which are all also really cool. Like, look at these guys. That is just insane, dude. I don't know what to, oh, look how big this walker is. That's a big walking catfish. Look. Walk. Ah, look at him, look at him go. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Should we keep a few for the... Yeah, I think we should ke We should keep probably like a couple of each. Let's just do that. Let's keep like two walking catfish and two hoplos and bring it back and like put them in the koi pond or maybe bruiser's pond, we'll see. Anyways guys, uh, if you wanna like pause the video right now, I'll do like a little contest. Pause the video and count, okay? Take a screenshot and just try to count how many fish we just caught in this trap. And there's like, there's some like buried in the cat food. Look at, look at these guys. So yeah, it's just have a little contest amongst yourselves. Okay, let's see who can get closer. Yeah, no one, no one's gonna know how many fish are in here. So there's not even gonna be a winner, but just for fun, comment down how many you think we caught in the trap. Our fish trap worked though. DIY, let's make sure there's no one else in here. No, okay, we're good. DIY laundry basket 
Guys, if you want to make a cool fish trap, go to Walmart, get anything that has like a box shape or that's enclosed that you could just like cut one hole in and boom, there you have it. You have a fish trap. What I'm really curious about is if like, dude, it took me like a minute to reel it in. Imagine how many fish swam out during that time. We probably had like 200 in there. Look how big this hoplo is. Look at that. Look at these little whiskers. These guys make cool little, little grunting noises sometimes. All right, guys. We're gonna keep a bunch of these guys and uh, the rest we're gonna throw back into this crazy puddle where there's just millions of them. But I think it's safe to say that our DIY fish trap was a big success. This is one of our best fish traps for sure. Look at all the birds, dude. The birds know what's up. Look at that. All these birds know that there's just millions of fish out here. That's why they're all out here. All right, one last look. We're gonna throw the cat food. Dude. <laughs> know what to say look at this dude what is that how is that possible i have an idea look look see the hole right here yeah <laughs> come on guys come on we'll give you the cat food too for your troubles <laughs> guys you're free oh there there they go bye guys come on time to go thank you for going into the fish trap we appreciate it oh they're exploding out there now i literally have no words for this this is insane <gasps> albino look albino bro oh, i wish we could get them saying if you want us to come back i mean we've been here before but it's been nothing like this this is just something insane i have no idea how this happened or why this is happening but yeah millions of fish out here if you want us to come back leave a like and comment down below i see another albino out there anyways guys that'll do it for today's video if you did enjoy this fish trap which i'm sure you did this is one of our craziest fish traps we've ever done definitely the most fish caught i'd say for sure leave a like and comment down below and anyways guys leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already the rain cut out the video so i'll see you in the next one peace out